Now, next important point that we are going to study is internal energy. This internal energy is denoted by symbol U. Now, what is meant by internal energy? Internal energy is defined as energy of stationary fluid. So, what is meant by internal energy? Internal energy is defined as energy of stationary fluid. Okay. So, whenever we have to find out energy of any stationary fluid, then that energy of stationary fluid can be considered as a internal energy. This is a generalized term. Now, Internal energy of any system is depends on its temperature or temperature of it, any system is depends on internal energy. Means if the higher internal energy, then temperature will be higher and if lower internal energy, then temperature will be lower. Okay. So, internal energy of any system is depends on its temperature. If temperature is higher, then higher internal energy. If temperature is lower, lower internal energy. Okay, now the next point is what? Change in internal energy of an ideal gas. What is next point? Change in internal energy of an ideal gas. Suppose if you want to find out change in internal energy of an ideal gas. Now what is meant by? So we have to find out change in internal energy of an ideal gas. What is been by change? Delta U. That is what? Final energy minus initial energy. That is a generalized term. For any change, final minus initial. And for change in internal energy of an ideal gas, we can write down the relation is what? M into Cv into T2 minus T1. Very, very important relation for this chapter. And its unit is what? Energy. By default, its unit that we are going to use is what? Kilojoule. So, this is what a change in internal energy for an ideal gas. And what is the relation? MCV T2 minus T1. Okay. So, this is what a internal energy. What is meant by internal energy once again? Energy of a stationary fluid. Temperature of any system, it depends on its internal energy. If higher internal energy means higher temperature. Lower internal energy means what? Lower temperature. Okay. So, this is meant by internal energy. Now, the next important point is what? Enthalpy. What is next important point? Enthalpy. Enthalpy is denoted by capital H. By which symbol we denote? Enthalpy. Enthalpy is denoted by capital H. Now, what is meant by internal energy? Internal energy is what? Energy of stationary fluid. Now, what is meant by internal energy? Enthalpy, enthalpy is what? Energy of a, energy of flowing fluid. See the word, flowing fluid means river water, flowing fluid. A refrigerant flowing in the refrigeration system is a flowing fluid. So that energy of any flowing fluid can be considered as a enthalpy if we neglect kinetic energy and potential energy if you neglect kinetic energy and potential energy effect then we can consider enthalpy as a energy of a flowing fluid okay so internal energy is what energy of stationary fluid and what is meant by enthalpy enthalpy is what energy of the flowing fluid okay so this is what internal energy and enthalpy now mathematically Mathematically, H is equal to U plus PV. How we will define mathematically enthalpy? Internal energy plus product of pressure and volume. Okay, so this is what a mathematical definition of enthalpy. Now, here we, st we studied change in internal energy of an ideal gas. Similarly, change in Enthalpy of an what? Ideal gas. Suppose we want to find out enthalpy, change in enthalpy of an ideal gas. Now, what is the generalized meaning of change in enthalpy? Change means what? Delta H. Change means what? Final enthalpy. Change in enthalpy means what? Final enthalpy minus initial enthalpy 
and for ideal gas what is the expression we can write m cp t2 minus t1 and its unit is what in kilojoule what is its unit its unit is what kilojoule okay so this is a expression for change in enthalpy now suppose if you want to find out change in internal energy of an ideal gas then m cv m cv t2 minus t1 and if you want to find out change in enthalpy of an ideal gas then it will become m cp t2 minus t1 both is the energy one is energy of a stationary fluid another is energy of flowing fluid so by default we consider their unit is what kilojoule this is all about internal energy and enthalpy